Hey guys, so this video will be about my last tough day here in Sierra Nevada. Tomorrow it's uh, three weeks and two days until the race in St. George. It will be my last tough day up here in Sierra uh, before uh, having a quick trip back home to Bergen, getting uh, dropping off some stuff and then flying to um the final preparation in utah so uh, i thought that i would bring you guys along for a whole full day give you a little bit of insight for my training tomorrow the main session tomorrow it's a really long run session uh kind of a little bit slower than threshold but i will be trying to hold it for like 90 minutes or so so it's going to be a really big two hours run session easy swim easy bike that's my final final part of hard work here in sierra before friday is a quick short easy day and then leaving saturday to bergen so stay tuned i like to think that uh, i start my training day not in the morning with a good breakfast or with a good coffee, but uh, kind of the evening before, making sure that I go to bed early enough. So I uh, starting the day fully recovered. So that's what I will do now. So hopefully see you in eight and a half good hours of sleep. Back in the pool, first session of the day, three and a half to four K of swimming and over there. We have Alex coming with some new prototypes of the, the Boar wetsuit that we'll be testing out. So that's going to be cool to see the buoyancy of the new ones. St. George, still fast. Secret comes later, sub seven. Aye, aye, aye. They did a few things different. So we tried to do something with the neck, but he didn't quite understand it. So we need to make it higher, I think, with World 3. But obviously what is really new is ours. We call it now the X-King. This is new. Oh yeah, fair, yeah. It's a five millimeter underarm, but it's a silicone that, uh, silicone coated, so it doesn't absorb the water. Mm. So it feels like, uh, actually it doesn't feel, it's like a surf suit. Yeah. However, we put a different coating on it. And then we they made some changes to what you want in the in the thickness. So we'll see how you like it. Aye, really cool. Very cool. And the St. George suit. I need the rumble. So the St. George, we put thicker underarms mm. to make a panel. And here is like thin. And this is the flexible part of it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So we need to see how you, how you like it. I must, between us, say that yeah, he did good here, but he didn't need to do the embossing action. Kind of the biggest difference, don't you think? Underarms. It's the underarms. Give a little bit more propulsion in the arms. So the push under the water is more. So it will bring us uh, a little bit uh, faster on the bike. And also a little bit higher neck to make sure that they don't get any water in, kind of in the dive. And so the neck feels good on them. So we'll test it out in the water to see if it's kind of good in the flip turns and uh, if it gets water through here, but it feels loose but tight at the moment so this is kind of the prototype a little bit different arms again different neck different structure here first i'm trying it out but now it's time to jump in the water and get that swim in
So swim session done and dusted, lunch done and dusted. And now it's time for a big run session. So it's a long, extensive workout. So today, Kirisawa is gonna do two hours of running with 90 minutes of uh, quality and uh, I'm gonna be his support for <laughs> the first 45 minutes. <laughs> so let's go. First run down, 18 minutes left. Ooh, 80, not 18, 80. <laughs> what was the pace? Oh, not sure. So it's kind of annoying running in the outside lane because you don't really know how the pace, but as you can see, too much snow in lane one. So just have to go by feeling, feeling. It looks okay. fast. <laughs> Let's go. Tray down. Long day to go. <laughs> Even a bit of uh, race, specific training, running into toilet, being quick. <laughs> Paper leaving again, including uh, hands open. <laughs> we can grab it halfway through on the next one. <laughs> See you. Let's go. <gasps> Four to go. Oh. One, four, no, zero point eight. The last one. 3.20 pace, 0 0.7, 3.20 pace, a little bit faster actually, bring it on. <laughs> Running out like 3.15 pace, will be interesting to see what the left head is after this one. <sighs> so, 0.8 and 0.7 after the third and the fourth one. So, increased it a little bit now for the last four or five minutes. faster so 31 and a half K okay. surprisingly good in the legs after yeah well over 30 K and also thought I would be fitting off a little bit more in the end so a solid session in the bank way so now it's a few laps easy running and then getting some food on the room and then up or going for an hour or so on the bike. Ay, ay, ay. What a nice present. Thank you. <laughs> so in the first 60 minutes to finish off the day, easy riding on the road bike to mix it up a little bit. Whew. Okay, so I have about 30 minutes in, 30 minutes left and 
This is my last tough day here in Sierra Nevada on this camp before having a quick trip home and then off to St. George, Utah. On track, uh, still missing some big key sessions that we will do in St. George in the course. So, but I think for sure my run shape is definitely where it should be. Bike shape is coming there. And also I think I'm in the right direction now on the swim. So three weeks and one day left until the big dance in USA, St. George. So now it's just out enjoying the nice weather. It was forecast rain, but it seems like I'm about to avoid it. Luckily, look at the view. Magnifique. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did so, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And hopefully we can give you some content from St. George when you are getting there. And uh, keeping you updated on the last few weeks going into the big dance. Until then. Enjoy the view.